Greg Shepard is an entrepreneur who has made a name for himself in a wide range of industries. With over a dozen successful ventures under his belt, this investor and philanthropist has proven himself to be a master of technology and business. In 2016, I sold the company to eBay as part of a $925 million transaction. And then six months later, I sold them another company. And then I got the title of Chief Strategy Officer for eBay Enterprise and then Chief Technology Officer after that. And then went into that company to execute the strategy that I built. And it was like a, a really big deal for me. I still have the business cards. <laughs> so a really big deal for me. But what some may not realize is the fact that he is neurodivergent. I barely graduated from high school. I went to like, I think five high schools. They were trying to figure out what to do with me because I have savant uh, syndrome and dyslexia and autism and synesthesia. And they kept putting me in different schools and I never really found a school. And then I decided this one year, I was like, I have to finish school. I have to get this done. And I didn't want to quit. So it was the first year I did the challenges that I've been doing every year since I was 18 was just to graduate from high school. He turned those obstacles into skills, using his knack for finding patterns and solving problems to create successful businesses. Now, Greg is putting his talents towards solving some of the world's most pressing problems. I don't think that my mission is a single thing. I, I think that it is a evolving thing. So if I were to sum it up, it's to help the planet and everything on it. If I enable founders to start businesses that help out with like carbon capture and desalination plants and using less water and electrification of things and sustainable energy and things that help disease and ways that we can help people that that don't function the same way as everybody else then to me that is my mission rex says many of the people who hold the key to humanity's challenges are often overlooked and he set out to empower them. He has developed a curriculum offering founders online education, tools, courses, and networking to help them design their success. It's a program already in use in institutions around the world, including UC San Diego. 4% of people have the ability to get out from check to check living. And uh, the largest percentage of those people do it by starting a business, but then 90% fail trying to start a business. So I was like, okay, I'm going to study why they failed. So I spent about five years studying why, when, and how entrepreneurs were failing. And then I put together courses and curriculum and all this stuff to try to help founders. If I can just help less of them fail and I can give the information to them free, the biggest problems that we have in the world are the problems that are experienced by people that are the only people that can solve those problems. So if I empower those people to learn how to solve their own problems. I can not only take them out of a financial situation where they're ignored and passed over like I was, and also I can help with income inequality and I can help out with all the marginalized groups. According to Greg, some of the most impactful businesses are born from the unique perspectives of neurodivergent individuals who identify a problem and carve their own path to solve it. And that's why I went into the startup. Most of them are founded by neurodivergent people of some way and or some, some kind of neurodivergent. And they're, they're after solving these problems. So it's like my people solving problems that I'm passionate about and I get to help them. And for me, that is, uh, I mean, I feel magical because of that, I guess. Still. He acknowledges the world has a long way to go when it comes to accepting people with neurodiverse minds. The difference between where we are and where we need to be in terms of people understanding the behavior of other people and not thinking that those behaviors are like a, a symbol of something that is a, a negative thing instead of a positive thing or just a different thing, is it's a big distance. My sister is autistic, I'm autistic, my son's autistic, my daughter is neurodivergent. And I can tell you that we understand a lot more than people think we do, just because we don't communicate effectively back or whatever. It doesn't mean that we don't understand. 
Greg encourages individuals with exceptional cognitive abilities to persevere and find tools to unlock their unique abilities and specialties in order to achieve their full potential. For me, I found different tools that help me, ways of organizing things, software on computers that read things to me, different like little processes. I have all these little processes that help me move through the day, even in my own personal life. So I think that you find your own tools and it's just like, you know, if I had lost my leg somehow, I would have crutches or I would have a wheelchair. I would have some sort of a, a way that would help me mobilize myself. And it's the same thing for neurodiverse people. So find your, your weaknesses and then fill the, those weaknesses with tools that help you level the playing field as much as you can. He believes that charting your own course can lead you to unexpected places from delivering a TEDx talk to wrangling alligators, rubbing elbows with world leaders, or swimming for over six hours in open water. He continues to challenge himself to exceed his own expectations. I learned everything myself, and now I'm teaching other people, including people that are in you know, some fancy schools that I could never get into, and it's just so mind-boggling. As I say it, it's like so, uh, <laughs> it's just crazy, right? For a world of difference, I'm Luisa Ardila.